So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make these tofu wrapped amori in a spicy sauce. So these are like honestly super super satisfying and I love the sauce with some rice. So the tofu is basically bundled up with sheets of amori and then cooked down in a sauce. So we're going to start off of course with two blocks of extra firm tofu. So that's 400 grams in total. So it depends on the size of your tofu but basically we're just going to go and press this down. Um, I basically wrapped it in some towel. And then we're gonna just go and place a heavy surface on top. So I placed like more chopping boards here. Just gonna press the tofu until the water seeps out and the water drains. So this way the tofu is gonna be crispier and also absorbs better flavor. So we're just gonna go and slice the tofu into rectangular pieces. So it depends on, of course on the size and the shape of your tofu. But I had to just like slice mine up into four before slicing them into eight. And yeah, basically I had 16 pieces. And basically, these are how my tofu pieces look like. I'm just gonna go and chop up, slice up the nori sheets. So I just cut them up into um, small strips. So that's maybe around three fourths inch thick. It's totally up to you how thick or thin you want it. And then we're gonna wrap it around the tofu. So it's kind of like a belt. Um, and you're gonna kind of need some water here to just make them stick. But since my tofu was kind of wet, I didn't need any water. But you might need um, some water to seal the edges of the nori. And I just repeated that for the rest of the tofu until all my 16 pieces were wrapped in some nori. So these are all the pieces and we're gonna go and cook them up. So after I basically heated up a frying pan or any non-stick pan that you have with some oil and basically once it was bubbling and really hot, I added in the tofu. So you might need to cook them in batches depending on the size of your pan, but I did cook them in two batches. And we're just gonna cook them up for a few minutes on each side until they're golden brown. So my heat here wasn't consistent and some gold like turned golden brown faster. Um, so here's like a piece, a little close up and basically the tofu is going to kind of puff up also. It's, oh, it's going to look like a belt really. And then yeah, here. So here's the fried tofu wrapped in nori. And then we're going to go ahead and just cook up some veggies if you like. So I just stir fried here some bok choy um, and afterwards I added in some water into the pan, some sugar some soy sauce and also some toasted sesame seeds and afterwards I also added in some Sichuan pepper for extra spice called dobanjiang um, which is like chili um, sauce and I gave that a good stir and also added in one teaspoon rice vinegar which I forgot to add um, in the footage and then afterwards we're just gonna go and give that a good mix and then we're gonna leave it to simmer for a few minutes until it starts to bubble and then we're going to prepare the cornstarch slurry. So this is one tablespoon cornstarch diluted in some two tablespoons of water. And we gave that a good mix and poured it in the sauce. And then afterwards, we're just going to go and leave that to simmer again for a few minutes until it thickens. So you're going to see that it thickened here. And then we're going to go ahead and add in the tofu. So just add in the tofu to the sauce. And this way, the tofu is going to absorb the sauce really well. So you can let the tofu sit for a few minutes in the sauce until it kind of like sizzles and bubbles also and the tofu will absorb it a bit. And afterwards, once you're happy with that, um, you can just take it out of the heat and serve it on a plate. And I added in my bok choy on the side. And basically that's it. So I also enjoy this over some rice, which is like really good, like a really hearty and satisfying meal. So there. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I will see you guys in my next video.